collar tie to a snap down. So remember, we're gonna we'll just all stick right-handed because most of us left uh, wrestle right-handed, right-footed, um, and I can help you out if you're left-handed. But collar tie. Remember, this is strong. A lot of guys, this was coming off the top like this. Okay, that's not very strong. When I keep it, okay, I'm clasping on so that I can get control. Remember, yesterday we really worked on moving guys around and getting them off balance. Okay, my fish hook around his tricep. Notice right away, what does Chad do? He grabs on because that's what real life people do. Chad's a good partner. Okay, so I'm in this position. Notice we both stay in our stance and in a good chain. Okay, if I start to really shove around and move action and I start to stand myself up, get out of position, Chad reacts, gets our takedown. Okay, so we keep that good strong collar tie, move, move, move. Okay, now we're going to review that snap down we had finished up yesterday with. As I push into him, what's he going to do? Push push back. Back. He pushes back. I feel him coming. Okay? As I feel him push. And this is something that was happening a lot yesterday. Lots of guys wanted to do this. How many guys did that where you went across your body? Raise your hand. Yeah, there's okay? a bunch of guys. There's more than are raising their hand. Okay? We're going to make this action. Instead of pushing across, we're going to push by. Okay? Notice where the palms of my hand go. Okay? To the side. Remember, like a bull, we're a matador. Okay? You don't hold it here and the ball takes you out, okay? It's on the side. And so that's the same action. Watch the motion. I'm not even going to do a lot. I'm just going to show you the motion with my arms. Okay? okay? Watch my motion. Everybody see that? Not if you understand. Okay? Motion by. Then we can put down some other action into it. But we were missing this side action, both hands, okay, sweeping him by. So I'm here, I push, he pushes back, there's my action. Quick, short, powerful, sweep by my body. Something we talked about yesterday is I snap somebody down. What happens if I don't move my leg? If I snap, what happened? Okay. I gave him the easiest takedown on the face of the earth. I said, here, please beat me. So what do I need to do? Move my leg. Right? It's just like our down block that we do for our stretches that we spent two days on. Same kind of action. But this time, remember, his head is now replacing my hand. Move my foot, pass it by. Push, push it back. Okay. Here's another problem people were going through yesterday. Uh, Ryan, a couple other guys, maybe a little bit of football mentality. As I do this, he's way over there. I did all that work and he's 10 feet from me. We want to keep that. So, what I first want you to do, we'll kind of break this up a little bit better. Okay, first thing, get the motion him to the side. He should hit his knees if you do a quick, powerful, not barrel rolling out, but he should get down, he should uh, hit it forcefully enough where he hits his knees. I push, sidestep, he slides out. Okay. Questions? Remember, this motion, either direction. Okay, it's like a sweet dance move, right? You know what I'm talking about, okay? Questions? Okay. One, two, three.